client is someone that's very important and they see you and you basically have to get prepared for anything. Yes. So it is the thing related to me and to my client. But you don't want to wear a suit next to a swimming pool, do you? You don't want to wear that to a swimming pool, next to a swimming pool, do you? At, by a party that's next to a pool? I mean, if I'm participating in a party, yeah, but is it, what if the pool is under the background? Here's what I'm thinking, right? You look so perfect for television, the way you are, right? Perfect colors. You wear in black, but it's not all black. You have something that pops, which will look good on TV. Okay? Now, if you want to go to radio, it would be fine to remove the top. Yeah, the blazer. Don't you think? So yeah. you dress all in one. Okay? And it's the same for a paper. You might choose to keep it or you might take it off. For a web, you might want to be a little more relaxed. Yeah. And you take it off. You might change your shoes if you like to, but the same outfit, okay? That represents you very well because you know who you are, you know what brand you have, and you look not boring, but the same. Once people see you, they're like, wait, isn't that the girl that does empowerment? Isn't that because of the way you are, the way you dress, you represent your brand? very well. Okay? Thank you. Yeah. Great sport. Colors to avoid. All black and all white. Because the camera person will have to try to adjust your color with whomever is doing the interview. And it's hard, very hard, right? It's very hard to do that. Okay, when you have one black and one. You see the color that I have on the wheel? Pick either or. Fine, it will pop. If you have a white, try to match it with something like that. It doesn't matter if it's accessories that you have that's kind of colorful, bring that up. Okay? I'm loving this. The networking aspect of media. That was one of Jessica, right? Yeah. Networking is everything. Everything. I'll tell you a little story about um, Jadine after we talked. Um, when we talked, it was on the phone. I didn't see her. When I met her at the event, I just woke up to her and was like, Hi, are you Jadine from Transform Me Haiti? Why? Because of the way she presented her brand to me on the phone. The moment I saw her, I connected to her. And that was like maybe three years later, mm -hmm. three, four years later. Mm -hmm. So that's very important. Networking. It's not what you know, it's who you know. Mm -hmm. Well, for me, it's both. If you don't know anything, no one will be interested anyways in you, right? Mm -hmm. You have to have something to offer. And at the same time, you have to network and get to know some people. You might not need them now, but you want to leave lasting impression in however it is. Amen. Don't try to be, do not be forceful, and do not try to get something from them. But you want to have a conversation that makes them remember you. I'll say maybe 85% 80, of the time, I remember what someone wore at a particular time that I met them and what the conversation was about. So let's let's do this little game so we can see. All right. How would you present two? I need two volunteers. Come up. Come up.
you are at a networking event and you are going to see each other, right? They say get to know someone. How would you do that? Um, Just play, go play for me. Yes. Introduce yourself, get to know each other. Let me see how that networking works.
whatever it is that you saw at that event or at the workshop or at the seminar, talk about that. 